Week. I'm reporter for the OU Daily, and tonight's story is Oklahoma beat Texas 71 to 70 to clinch its second straight Big 12 title. Now, my first takeaway tonight is that this was a game that was going to be a hard-fought battle for the Sooners. Texas came out the gate swinging. They controlled the pace easily. They outscored them. They could easily drive through inside the paint. They were a highly physical team that clearly gave OU a run for the money. But Oklahoma persisted, and this showed in the first quarter when Texas went on a giant run, 21 to 10, by the second quarter. But luckily for OU, they came back and cut down the score to one at halftime, mainly throughout rebounding, especially in second chances, and taking advantage of the three throw line. Now, in the second quarter, the game was very close and it came down to the wire. Here's my second. Here's my second takeaway. My second takeaway is the shot from Lexi Keys. Now, Lexi Keys had a pretty good game, scored 16 points, and came on second. But her true moment in this entire game was with just five seconds left. Texas led by two. And with OU trying to struggle to get the ball in, and Texas keep, kept fouling and turning over the ball, Lexi Keys was fed the ball in the left wing fired and sunk it to get a one-point lead of 71 to 70 with just four seconds remaining. Texas got, got one last possession but failed to score and that was the game winner. Great night for Lexi Keys. Now one of the bigger aspects of this game which helped lead to the final result was the fouls. Now both teams had a bad foul trouble throughout the game. OU had 21 whereas Texas had 24. Texas itself had two players who fouled out. And even with Oklahoma, Peyton Verholz fouled out despite leading the team with a game-high 18 points. But in the end, it would be Texas's fouls that would make the difference because at the very end of their four seconds, Texas traveled the ball and gave Oklahoma that second chance to get that game new bucket from Lexi Keys. So next up, Oklahoma will have its last regular season game against Kansas. Now that game will be hosted in Lawrence this week and that can be seen on ESPN Plus. It'll be at 4 p.m. this Saturday.